What's going on guys? Comes here back again on another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty video. If you haven't been keeping up, baby, we have the fourth inning program dropping on Friday. And of course, being Sunday, we're going to go live with our fourth inning program predictions. We actually have a clue this time, which is going to make things interesting. Uh, I had to change a few things around, switch it up rather. We had to switch a couple things around. And uh, as always, before we hop into this bad boy, let me know who you guys want to see in the fourth inning program down below in the comment section. Leave a like if you guys uh, do enjoy this video. Definitely helps me out subscribe we're on the road to 40,000 we should hit 38k today so make sure slap that button twitch.tv slash to legend live tonight baby make sure and check it out it's gonna be a fun time let's get into it so uh a couple things that i want to address the first one being the tweet that they had today um fourth inning program arrives this friday of course left pointing magnifying glass uh two of the fourth inning bosses have fewer than 30 career stolen bases combined the other has over 300, so uh, that means two of them obviously have less than 30 bases as a total, and one has over 300. That's pretty interesting, there's actually a lot of guys over 300 stolen bases as a career. I know there's probably going to be new legends, we've talked about it. Uh, a lot of you guys said I was probably right on my assessment that we are going to see uh, around five new legends or so, being that there are these generic spots left over. If you guys watched that video, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but it's going to be... It's literally impossible, really, well, not impossible, just uh, not likely. I'm going to guess a new legend. So we're basing strictly off of cards we know are in this game. And uh, let's go ahead and move on to my first position. That's going to be catcher. Now, we haven't seen a catcher in any of the programs yet. And I feel like we haven't seen one in a while, if you think about it. Uh, these prospect cards since day one since day one i think this was the second set and then johnny bench is the only other diamond catcher that's dropped yes there's been uh none in the stage two team affinity either who do i think it is going to be i think it is going to be a cardinal maybe hall of famer yadier molina Again, keep in mind, they usually do like to get cards that were hard to obtain last year and make them easier to obtain this year, which would make sense. I think he was the second ranked season's reward in Yadier Molina. Also, something we talked about on stream, shout out Movie Gaming TV, he brought this point to my attention. With the Prestige program, so we're likely going to see 95-96 overalls this time around for the fourth inning program if things stay consistent. A prestige Yanni would be up to 97, 98 overall. So if he's a boss, this likely is the highest Yanni or Melina card we would see. So keep that in mind going forward. You know, even a guy like Chipper Jones, he has a 96. I don't know if he's going to get a better card. We're going to have to wait and see. Either way, this card would be really nice to see. 114 vision, 100 plus contact per side. Power, I would like to see. Again, the Prestige might make that a little bit better. They tend to buff cards going from year to year in MLB 20. Great defense, of course. 95 fielding, 96 blocking, 40 speed. I think this card would be really nice. And as you probably would expect, he does not have over 30 stolen bases. Might surprise you because uh, he definitely does have some wheels on him. But Yadier Molina, I'm going to say if we get a catcher, I would almost think that's a lock because guys like Russell Martin... Guys like Jason Kendall, they have stolen bases. Joe Torre's my other, like my plan B option. I like this card last year. He would be cool to see again. We never got to see a better card than this 93. Has just enough defensive attributes, 80 blocking, 80 fielding, 80 arm. Imagine that would get boosted. And for a catcher, he has really good stats. You know, balanced all the way across the board. Good vision, good contact, good power. Joe Torre, I think it's going to be my plan B. I would think Yachty, if we do get a catcher, we are going to to see him moving on to my next position this is obviously one we always see and this is not guaranteed but i do think it is going to happen so keep in mind they said 30 stolen bases or lower in total what i am thinking is that doesn't mean there can't be a pitcher i would be very surprised if there was not a pitcher this time because it was all hitters in the third inning and there was only one program all of the 11 or 10 that actually had cards last year that didn't have a pitcher i don't think we're going to see that twice especially back-to-back -back programs so i do expect a pitcher to be in this time i thought about relievers i don't know it just feels like they're going to drop another starter because there's not a whole lot of relievers that kind of fit this big 
fulfilled. If you think about Hoffman, they're not going to release another Hoffman when we've already had one in the game. I don't believe not this early. My first pick is going to be Felix Hernandez. Now, this, of course, would be one of the best pitchers in the game. He was one of the most rare cards in the game last year, being a flawless, I want to say, like, earlier on in the cycle, maybe third upgrade that they had. He would be amazing. I really want to see this card. 114 stamina, 90 hit 9, 96 K9, 88 walk 9. Uh, the best pitches you could really have in the game. I don't think he would have outlier, but still 95 on a sinker. That's even hotter than Corey Kluber. Uh, four seams going to go up to 100 miles an hour. Great breaking ball. Great break. Uh, great stuff all the way around. Absolute fantastic repertoire. I would love to see Felix Hernandez. And again, it would lead to the point of them wanting to use cards harder to get last year, making them easier this year. I personally think this would be great. I understand people could say, I really don't want to face Hal, Felix, and Kluber. That's a valid point, but I do think they're going to eventually have to start dropping really good cards in boss programs. My backup is going to be Adam Wainwright, another guy who... Uh, he was released a bit later. This one was a free card uh, within Twin Gaming TV's uh, Sony Partner Moments. So pretty much everybody who wanted it was able to get it. Uh, but I'd still love to see this card. It would work fantastic this year. The sinker and the super slow curveball reminds me a lot of Roy Oswalt. Not as much velocity. But if you give him a prestige program card, 90 hit, 90 hit and K per 9. Close to 100 walk per 9. This would be a fantastic card with control. We all know that is almost unheard of in MLB The Show 20, so it would be a welcomed sight to see. And I'll be honest, this is where we get into the nitty gritty. So obviously, the way I'm predicting this is uh, those were the two guys with combined under 30 stolen bases. I think we're almost going to have to see an outfielder. I don't... Some people were saying shortstop. I, I hope to God. I, I'm going to be real disappointed, real soft if we do see a shortstop. Second base, we just got it. Third base, we just got it. I think we're going to see another outfielder. Originally, I was leaning the corners. I was thinking Dave Kingman, Bryce Harper, neither have 300 stolen bases. The first guy I'm going to predict, this is a rough one. It's Willie Mays. Are we going to see the best Willie Mays? No. But a lot of things are leading me to believe this isn't that crazy, even though he is one of those endgame cards. They just released a mid Griffey and they just released a mid Chipper Jones. Two, like, endgame cards that we usually see, think of last year, sick thinning program, so end of summer for Griffey, and then fall for Chipper Jones. If we got, like, a 95 really Mays with a 97 prestige program, I could definitely see them still giving him a 99 overall. And I don't know, he obviously has over 3 stolen bases i don't know i could be wilding with this pick out of the options that were present there weren't that many great ones and for a 95 willie mace to pop up again being the entire uh live series collection reward last year i think it would be cool to offer a way to get him this year in an actual usable form unlike the damn conquest cards so clearly wouldn't have these attributes but would be similar uh next up i would say eric davis is a great possibility again a card that was hard to obtain last year one of the first battle royale rewards we saw um i would hope they would increase the vision if it was at least 60 that would make me feel a lot better about myself if this card did transfer over low uh, 87 fielding prestige would go up to diamond defense at 90 in center fantastic speed a lefty killer and holds his own against righties he would still have the threshold at 80 power i think this would be a cool card to see i like his swing i think it is his silver card it's not bad when i get it in showdown i don't mind it um and then my last option is jacoby Alsberry. now who knows what to think about his career uh ever since he went to the yankees he pretty much fizzled out like a thanos snap just took him away uh this could be his last year he could retire i would like to see him get a really good card never got a signature last year although i was hoping and let's be real this would obviously have to be much better if we're thinking at least 95 overalls and he definitely had that kind of career or at least that one spurt uh 2011 the only year he hit for power all of a sudden um uh, i don't know what got into him maybe it was a needle that got into him not sure but uh, if they had a prime card for him that specifically focuses on this season, I think he could have a lot more power, around 99 fielding. 
I hope to God, like 60 arm strength is something that would be nice. Uh, I think this would be a great card. Again, I do like his swing. I usually like lefty bats a lot. And well, I was thinking we were going to see a uh, corner outfielder, but I just don't see uh, who that would really be unless it is a new legend. Let me know who you guys think could possibly be a new legend added into this game that would have a shot. Um, but personally, uh, pretty much the majority of guys with 300 plus stolen bases that I think would be in here uh, are, of course, going to be center fielders. Ricky Henderson, for example, he already has a 95. There's no way in hell they would double up. And I also seem to think they're not going to bring bosses who were in the game last year to this year. If there was a guy in a boss program last year, I don't think they're going to have them in again. And uh, the programs so far have lived true to that. We haven't seen any duplicates in there. And I think that's going to remain consistent. We're going to have to see. Uh, but again, I want to remind you guys, really start thinking about the prestige program point that movie first uh, brought to my attention. And now I'm really putting a lot of stake into because, for example, if we do get a 95-96 Yachty, that's probably going to be his best card. That would be a best Felix Hernandez. I think that's probably going to happen. Of course, is it the favorite of mine? No, uh, because some people aren't going to want to go after a prestige card. It is quite a hefty, uh, hefty, hefty, hefty grind to get it. But nonetheless, this is my fourth inning program boss predictions. Uh, I do think a catcher is nearly a lock, I would say. I do also want to point out, first base is a possibility, and if it was, I think David Ortiz has a strong shot. The question would be, would they want to drop the best big poppy this early in the year? I'm not sure. The reason why I'm not thinking first base is because Molitor just pretty recently came out. The last two event high diamonds have been first basemen. I really don't think they're going to do that. A good amount of the Stage 2 team affinities could play at first base, but I would be all welcome to see a 90, uh, like a 95, 97 prestige David Ortiz. That could be very interesting to see. Let me know what positions. Let me know what guys you want to see in the fourth inning program. Again, it drops on Friday. We're going to start seeing reviews, I believe, on Tuesday. I will update you guys, of course, for that. And uh, yeah, let me know. Uh, again, thank you all for watching. If you guys did enjoy it, leave a like down below. Hope you guys have a great day. There you guys, I'm Zodi.